Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Okay. 30 dialects of the English. Hey, guys. Where are my manners? How's it going? How you doing? Good? Bad? Whatever. <laughs> no, I hope, I hope you're doing well. If not, uh, you'll be good soon. Don't worry. If you're doing good, you'll be bad soon. Don't worry. No, you're, you'll be... F Let's go. Great start. Uh, so through all of the... You know, watching the different comedians and, and whatnot, uh, skits, Monty Python, Black Adder, whatever, you know, Al Murray, Frank Boyle, there's definitely a lot of distinctive dialects that are clearly different um, on such a small island. Uh, it's crazy. And um, we're going to go through 30 of them. Original link to the video, top of the description. Let's go. I, I feel like it. I might be completely wrong, but the further you north you go, I think the more difficult it is to understand. Like, uh, for instance, what's his name? A uh, Scottish comedian. Kevin Bridges. So difficult to understand. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's see. Let's go. 30 dialects of the English language in the UK. Go. Is this like a PowerPoint? They agreed that the one who first okay. succeeded in making the traveler take his cloak off should be considered stronger than the other. Then the north wind blew as hard as he could. But the more he blew, the more closely did the traveler fold his cloak around him. I mean, I'm guessing that's going to be pretty south. That's very easy to understand. I All I knew was this trump for the first decade. Of cloak around him. Received pronunciation. So... Is that just the standard? I All I knew was this trim, for the first decade of my life, this tremendous relief from my family. And people come around saying, lovely flat bit. Oh, you are lucky. When I think of Cockney, I think of, hey, governor. You know, like, I thought that was sort of. And the horse would, he'd go off around the alleyways to the various people, and the horse would just walk a bit further down the road and stop again, and so on, you know. Mm -hmm. And he ended up down here in the afternoon, the last call. Like the way he says call, I think was a little bit different from the, the first kind of, I guess it was just the standard dialect. There were a few differences, not many, Sussex. Oh, we put a heap of straw in and shook it all up and watered it. And then drove out these bundles and took it up on a fork. That almost sounds American. I only followed that through for one twelve and then I took to a stable of our season. Of course, that improves the wages. We had 12 shillings a week then, and a cottage to live with a work. And that was better a beer. That was eight penny beer, see? And it was brewed in Canada. Well, around here, because there's big, big breweries in Canada. They used to brew some beautiful beer. And then I... I only followed that through for one twelve and then I took to a stable of our season. Of course, that improves the wages. We had 12 shillings a week then. And this one and, and the other one, um, they... If... A few words clearly give it away. That's, all right, that's not American. But a few words sound very much similar to, uh, you know, a, a New England kind of accent. In a cottage to live with a work. And that was better beer. That was eight penny beer, see? And it was brewed in Canada. Well, around here, because there's big, big breweries in Canada. They used to brew some beautiful beer. And they, uh, so dumb, and they were big blokes in them. How can you be different that, that close? Beautiful beer. And they, uh, so dumb, and they were big blokes in them days. No, you wouldn't get in, under, you wouldn't get in Bristol Police for under six foot. That's different. That's very different. <clears throat> And they, uh, so dumb, and they were big blokes in them days. No, you wouldn't get in, under, you wouldn't get in Bristol Police for under six foot. So funny. There's almost a, a, I almost get like an Irish tone. Ever since you guys said it was a, it was a, a witch riding a pig, I just, the, the witch is a bit, and, but the pig is just spot on. Then it was rinsed in the big square sink, 
and out, then you went out the yard and you mangled it and then it went up on the line that's so crazy how it changes as you go as you go west you're coming in mud and muck. Oh, we've been for a good old stank. Or a stank. Good old stank. And, and yeah. that is Cornish. Stank. A tough walk. That was a good old stank, wasn't it? Yeah. Braille, a braille stank. That was a little less, I think, strong of an accent in my in my ears than the previous two or three. But I, I was curious what, what Cornwall would be, am I getting that right? Would be because it's you know it is on the on the on the west, and so I, w I thought it might be similar to the to the sort of Irish sounding ones of the last few, like Bristol and and these few ones. Um, but it's this one is is an outlier. Oh, that was a good old stank, wasn't it? Braille, a braille stank. And then sometimes the weeds were pulled out by hand. There used to be carlics, uh, which looked very much like mustard seed, but that was a weed. The car that used to be pulled by hand. We are going, I said, come to further side. He said, oh, you mean further side? I said, I don't know. I said, more don't know far, I don't think. <laughs> I come away one day, I said, my granny, I said. Oh. I'm, I'm going to listen to this. Dad brought a um, stalk of Brussels sprouts home. He trimmed them up on the garden and uh, they... It would weigh seven pounds. I feel like the the more stereotypical British sounding has been more on the East Coast. Again, this is just from my point of view. One thing I always call it, is it time for vittles, mate? I always call it vittles. That's maybe on in my way, but always, if we two of them, I say to my brother, we better go for some vittles, mate, and off we go for the dinner, like. Mind you, I don't know whether there's been any truth in it, to say the truth, because I never, nobody ever took interest, and of course I suppose anybody with a good head. I thought that's great, of course he's, oi, up it. <laughs> oi, oi. You know, good head. I thought that's great, of course he's, oi, up it, you know. Well, I upped it by taking about two paces back. That is the most British sounding British accent I've heard yet. And then I sat there and I watched this bloke as he assembled his drum kit, you see. And I spent the whole rest of the night watching this drummer. To be honest, I thought bloke and, and mate, maybe not mate, but bloke for sure, was more of an Australian. If I want to go up Hanley Park or anything like that, get a milk bottle, she's saying, she shove this white stuff in it and shake it off. This is so stereotypically British. Pottery Saint Catchpole. Harry Potter. Uh, but this, this, this. There you go with this bottle of pop and a beetroot sandwich. Now you're getting sort of the, the, like you have the stereotypical Irish, or sorry, Scottish accent, and it gets more Scottish sounding as you go north. And I feel like over in Wales, I'm not really, I haven't really heard much of there. I mean, Bristol is, is near it. Um, but it's sort of an Irish type thing. I don't know if you can see my cursor. I, I hope, I think you can. But more like Irish sounding slightly. Like it's not, not that it sounded Irish. It still sounded English. But it just had a tint to it as they kept going west. And as they go a little north, it has a little mix. And then right in the center is like a uh, hard, hard accent. Okay, well. Things started to change, you see. And the bus was going up to Aberystwyth twice a week. And Aberystwyth people started to go down on the bus to Machenlech to do their bit of shopping, isn't it? That was interesting. And Aberystwyth people started to go down on the bus to Machenlech to do... That is strange. ...to their bit of shopping, Twice a week, and I bet some people start a British shirt. She, there's like this underlying British sound. Shirt. I, I hope not being that is strange. I mean, it, it, you know, not not. Of course, this is sandwich. 
things started to change, you see. That's interesting. And the bus was going up to Abergroson. Right there, going up to Abergroson. It kind of has this kind of voice to it. The bound of end. Twice a week. And Abergroson people... Right, Abergroson, they shared. ...started to go down on the bus to Machenfest. Oh, to that's the thing. I don't know what that... I, it's Welsh. It says it right there, I know. And it's, it's highlight, but... That is distinct, very much so. When they're boiled, then they've got to be peeled. So on the table they go, depending on the size of your catch, which could in them days be anything from ten pounds to hundred and fifty pounds in weight. The out It went from like catch the TV on the telly over here to watch a football game in and watch a telly over here. And then it kind of goes over here, kind of the end of the sentence, kind of more Irish sounding. And then as it go up, like, what there are you doing? I was mounted up, you see. You might get back home at uh, say, 7 in the morning. I can't hear you. One man lower down, and the, the, I told you we lived in one of the old houses. Well, on the other corner where the other end was, there was a man who was down the docks and he was working there. And I just can't think of his name now. I mean, you literally have the meeting out of your hand pigeons. Like, um, you see them in uh, Piccadilly and places like that where people have fed them and they're all over them. But this is actually being able to pick them up without uh, them flying off. That one almost seemed like it should have been a little further south. You would tell me about quitting did style. It's a strainer, is style. You sit on a little three leg steel and get you. The three? It's sounding more and more kind of Scottish influence. I got a hint there, uh, Alec, when the gala would got a glyph and count the tumor. But he sure did. I mean, how are you going to catch up? You didn't, get, you didn't get paid if you didn't catch up. That's, that's the, I always love all that. I mean, I love her. Stronger East, yeah. I mean, you, th them days you didn't you didn't live with lasses. If if a bloke was going with a lass and they weren't married, she, she had a bad name. It's funny the conversation. You know, and everybody looked looked doing on people like that, which is a shame. I think it's a place for the old-fashioned type of, you know, and I mean the the ones like the last one we were in the market. It's been renovated. It really is nice. It's open plan. Beautiful, really is, and it's it they do a lot of catering. Use our mucka talk, our cumberland crack. Cause once it's gone, it'll never come back. Use it gay often, as much as you like, or it'll just get away like snow for die. That was that a poem? Use it gay often, as much as you like, or it'll just get away like snow for die. I uh, had this, uh, the, the horse and gear, and we had a big Clydesdale cuddy, a big Clydesdale. Steel is heavier than feathers? Steel horse. I've had strides, but that comes from advertising. I know it comes from advertising. I know it. That. Wow, I, I can't believe how distinct the two Scottish ones are. Clydesdale cuddy, a big Clydesdale. That Clydesdale. Horse. And then the upper one is the stronger. I've had strides, but that comes from advertising. I know it comes from advertising. And, um, yeah, they just, they just use, just use trousers or jeans. Most people wear jeans. There's people who could say that better than I could, of course. Uh, I, uh, I produced the thing and, um, uh, I know, I know people have enjoyed it, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, if people enjoy something that I'm doing or uh, I've done, then that is a reward on its own, and uh, it seems as though I have a talent, as you say. Now, this is National Golf Month, and if there's no exciting enough for all they followers of the wee white ball, the Irish Open is for the Royal County Down Golf Club, starting on the 28th. Is education centre next? Isle of Man. Education centre, man. You know that's 
They think they're better now, you won't get them to or they all want past jobs now, they won't get them to work on anything. Like we were oh, and our patients and the man, you know, that's just it. They think they're better now, you won't get them to or they all want past jobs now, they won't get them to work on anything. Like we were when we were young. I couldn't understand the beginning of her sentence, but the end I could. That was cool. Cool video. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I feel like, you know, the U.S. has a lot of distinct dialects that you can tell, especially like Southern. Like, you can tell someone from the South. Um, and if they have like a Canadian E and they're American, they're probably from Minnesota or Wisconsin area. Yeah, that's just crazy how, how, how different they can be even so close together. And not even just speaking of the island being, you know, the country being a small country. But, you know, average size for European standard countries. But just having so many dialects and, and distinct ones is, is crazy. That was a cool video. Awesome. Still learning. Maybe that'll help me with uh, understanding some of the jokes and accents of uh, the comedians I'm going to be watching coming up. All right, cool. See you guys next time.